matter makes up everything in the universe. There are many forms or shapes that it can take in order to create the objects we interact with on a daily basis. We call this the properties or states of matter. Matter can either be in a solid, liquid, gas, or plasma form. But for the sake of this video, we're going to focus on matter being a solid, liquid, or gas. The only thing different between these states of matter is how the particles behave. To get a better idea of the states of matter, we're going to use water as an example. As a solid, matter is tightly packed together and barely moves around. It's very rigid. Solids rarely change form unless they're melted or broken, kind of like when water is in the form of an ice cube. Other examples of solids would be the screen you're using to view this video, the pen I'm holding, the paper I'm drawing on, or even the table. Liquids, on the other hand, act differently than solids. Instead of having a fixed shape, they're able to move around freely in their containers. This is because the particles of liquids are not as tightly packed together as solids. Liquids will often change shape to fit their new environment. A river is a great example of water as a liquid because water has to flow around objects to reach its destination. Lastly, there are gases. Gases differ from solids and liquids because they completely fill the container they're in. When we blow up a balloon, we are filling the balloon with a gas called carbon dioxide. Yet when we release the air from the balloon, we are unable to see it with our own eyes. This is because the particles of gases are so tiny and so spaced out, our eyes cannot see it. If you heat up a pot of water to a high enough temperature, the water will begin to boil. The steam coming off the top of the water can be considered a gas as it spreads out in the air around you. Now that we know matter can exist in our world as a solid, liquid, or gas, we can start exploring what objects matter can make. In our next video, we will start exploring atoms, the smallest particles of matter known to humanity at this time. Feel free to enjoy the rest of the video, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Visibio to stay updated on the latest material. And don't forget, study nature, not books.